All right, so in this video, we're going to try to get the DJI Go app to work on our Samsung Galaxy S8. So this web page is a page that has old Android versions. So we're going to type in DJI Go. I'm looking for the one that it works for Phantom 3 Professional because that's what I have. So I'm going to scroll down to version 3.14. Click on it, get rid of the ad. Okay, so we're going to go back to the version 3.1.4 on this page. That's the wrong button. I'm going to click download. It's going to take me to this screen. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this page. And I'll say see available A. Something. We'll see in a second. See available APKS. I'm just scrolling down for you. So I clicked on it and it came back to this page. So then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page again. So here I'm going to say, I'm going to click on download APK. This is going to start the download of the file. There are a couple things you need to keep in mind. This is a non Play Store sponsored app site. So what happens to happen is you're going to have to disable a security feature allowing for the um, app to be installed on your device. So I've used it. I've been using this, so hasn't screwed up my device. So also I'll leave the link down to this page in the description. I guess it, my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow. So here it is. And I'll be with you when it uh, loads. So now that it's all loaded, we're going to go ahead and click on it. And then we have to go to our settings. We're going to click turn that on that says allow items from unknown sources. I only allowed this single one. So since I already have this app downloaded, it says do you want to install it as an update? You can go ahead and install it. If you don't have it already installed, you're just going to click install on the app and it'll let you go. So we'll go ahead and show you that it works. Click on the DJI Go app. Takes a minute to load. And then there it is.